you've never seen or heard of a bullet chart before, it's basically a fancy bar chart that not only shows the main value, but it also shows a target value, along with a stacked bar in the background that depicts different levels that your main value can fall under. So, now that you know what a bullet chart is, let's take a look at actually how to build one in Excel. The very first step is to get your data organized properly within your worksheet. You want your target values on top, then the main value you want to plot, followed by the levels or categories that will make up the stacked bar in the background. And an important note about these categories is that you want them in reverse order. In other words, you want the bottom category to be on top and the top category to be on the bottom. Then, once you've got the order right, you need to make sure that the values are correct as well. For the target and main values, you simply want the values just as they are. You also want the value itself for the very first category. But for all of the other categories, you want the difference between the bottom and top measures for each of those categories. For instance, here, good is anything between 50 and 75. And so, the value we want for the chart is the difference between these two numbers, which is, of course, 25. And you do the same thing for all of the other categories below. Fantastic. Once you've got the data set up and ready to go, you are ready to create the chart. Start by selecting the data, along with the categories and headers. Then, go to Insert, Bar or Column Chart, 2D Column. Once you have the chart, click on Chart Design in the ribbon and select Switch Row Slash Column. After that, click on Change Chart Type, and in the box that appears, click on Combo down at the bottom. And then, for the target value and the main value, check this box under Secondary Axis. Now at this point, change the chart type for Target to Line, Leave the main value as clustered column. And for everything else below, change the chart type to stacked column. So when you're done, you should have line, clustered column, and then stacked column for the rest. And once you have this, you can click on OK. Now under the chart design tab in the ribbon, click change colors and select a palette that works for you. Personally, I like to use this one. Once you've set the colors, right-click on one of the bars and select Format Data Series. In the panel on the right, under Series Options, select Sales or your main value metric. Then, click the data bars icon and make sure that the series overlap is set to zero and change the gap width to something like 400%. Then, click the Paint Bucket icon, and under Fill, select Solid Fill, and change the color to black or a color of your choice. Once you've done that, go back to Series Options, and select the Target Series. Under Line, select No Line, and under Marker, then Marker Options, select Built-in, change the type to this line right here, and set the size to something like 25. Then, under Fill, select Solid Fill, and choose the color red or a color of your choice. And then, under Border, select No Line. From here, go back to Series Options, and select one of the other categories. Click on the data bars icon, and change the gap width to something like 100%, and leave the series overlap at 100% as well. Then, go back to Series Options and select the Horizontal Category Axis. Under Fill, select No Fill, and under Line, select No Line. You can now close the panel on the right, then click on the right vertical axis and press Delete on your keyboard. For your finishing touches, give the chart a meaningful title, Select and then delete the grid lines. Click the plus here, and under Legend, move the legend to the right or wherever you want it. 
And finally, under Format in the Ribbon, change the Shape Outline to No Outline. And with that, you can resize the chart however you want it, and you are finished creating a bullet chart in Microsoft Excel. Now, if you want to add another amazing chart to your repertoire, I recommend that you check out this video next, where you will learn how to build a simple but useful Gantt chart in less than five minutes. Other than that, thanks for watching, and I will see you again in the next Spreadsheet Life video.